Okay, as you know, guys, we start with wisdom from others. We're still working with Thich Nhat Hanh, so I picked something that he has written. I love learning from others. I am, um, we are all students. Sometimes we are teachers and sometimes we're students. Um, and then we do the physical practice and then we do the meditation. So today I picked something called walking with your parents. Walking with your parents. When you walk, for whom do you walk? You can walk to get somewhere, but you can also walk as a kind of meditative offering. It's very nice to walk for your parents or for your grandparents who may not have known the practice of walking in mindfulness. Your ancestors may have spent their whole life without the chance to make peaceful, happy steps and establish themselves fully in the present moment. This is a great pity, but we do not need to repeat this situation. All our ancestors and all future generations are present in us. Liberation is not an individual matter. As long as the ancestors in us are still suffering, we cannot be happy. And we will transmit that suffering to our children and their children. Now is the time to liberate our ancestors and future generation. To free ourselves. If we can take one step freely and happily, touching the earth mindfully, we can take 100. We do it for ourselves and for all previous and future generations. We all arrive at the same time and find peace and happiness together. Okay, with those words from Thich Nhat Hanh that I found very um, encouraging, I hope he's right. Uh, let's do the uh, physical practice. So finding your seat, sitting up tall. Maybe place the hands on your knees if that's comfortable to you. And then so, or sometimes I, I place my, ha my hand on my lower belly. So my teacher talks about the pit of the belly, pit of the belly. It's a place like two inches below your navel and close to the spine. So imagine how the pit of the belly goes in and up in and up that gives you internal support internally supporting the spine to grow or stay tall the shoulders are wide the neck is long and then if you want to bring your awareness uh, to your uh, feet maybe lift the heels and the toes reminding ourselves of the connection to earth. It's so easy to go into the past and depression or the future and anxiety. Um, instead, practice being right here, right now. Right here, right now. Lifting the toes, lifting um, the heels. Noticing the connection to earth. And then maybe shift your awareness to your sitting bones. If you want to, you can slightly transfer the weight from one sitting bone to the other. Remembering that we have like two parts of us, two parts connected in the middle, two parts like pain and pleasure connected, love and fear connected. And we're looking for balance. Like we want to feel, come back to balance, feel, come back to balance. We don't want to stay numb. We want to feel the pain and come back. Feel the pleasure come back. And then if you want to place your hands on the crown of the head, maybe imagine how the crown of the head is moving up towards the universe. And then you can use your fingers to kind of open up uh, the crown of the head. Open up the crown of the head. And maybe that's going to make it easier to hear what something bigger than us is saying. Can we hear it? Can I hear it? 
maybe imagine how that drops down to your midbrain or third eye midbrain. Midbrain, what can you see with your third eye? You can close your regular eyes. What can you see with your, with your third eye? What kind of guidance are you receiving? And then stay there. If you want to, you can bring your awareness to your breathing. Noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. Maybe listen to the breathing. What does your breathing uh, uh, sound like today? And then if you want to place your hands on your knees and then starting the cat cow movement, waking up the spine, both the physical spine and the spiritual spine. So when we feel tight, what is really tightness in the body? So one idea, one idea is or could be that tightness is a story stuck in the body. So, and then I can be curious, like, what is that story about? What is that story about? If you want to, you can add the breathing to this movement. Exhale and round your back. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale round. Noticing how the physical body and the breath body, the first two koshas are working together as a successful team. And then eventually coming back to uh, neutral. And then adding some blink, uh, blinking, bubbling stars. Bring them all the way up. Clasp the hands, turn them over, straighten those elbows. Breathe. Maybe look up and let the palms of the hands reach towards um, the universe. And then maybe reach up, reach up and make a choice. What are you choosing? What are you going to do today? What are you going to choose to do? There are so many things that you can do and we get to choose. What is going to bring me pain and what is going to bring me pleasure? And then what is going to bring me peace? Sometimes we don't know and we can try. We, maybe we think this is going to bring me uh, pain. But then, oh, it was pleasurable. Or maybe this is going to bring me peace. And then I bring it in and then I realize it was painful. It's okay to try and then notice and then try again. And then clasp the hands again. Turn to one side, release the arms out wide, look behind you. And let those fingertips reach far away from each other. Breathe. And then release, blinking, bubbling stars, really open and close the fingers. Give those fingers and hands some workout. It, this is tiring after just a few moments. All the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over, straighten the elbows, breathe. And then reach, reach and choose, reach and choose. And you can reach far forward or to the side or behind you and notice whatever you choose, what does it bring you? Are we talking pain, pleasure, or peace? And 
And then bring the arms up again, clasp the hands, turn them over. Turn to the other side, release the fingertips away from each other, look behind you. And straighten those elbows and really reach those fingertips away from each other. And release. And lift the shoulders and release. Lift the shoulders and release a few times. Okay, now take all finger, all five fingers. Imagine that you, you have five different colors, very colorful thing. Maybe dip the fingers in five different colors and then draw a beautiful picture. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then maybe look at your creation. What did you create? And then go to the other side, all five fingers, dip the five fingers in, in five different colors. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then look at your picture. What did you create? What did you create? Okay, arms in cactus, and then gently twist from side to side. And then maybe start swimming, start swimming. And where would you like to swim? Where would you, maybe the Norwegian fjords, we were talking about the Norwegian fjords. So someone had been kayaking there. I haven't done that yet. Uh, maybe I'll put that on my wish list. So are you swimming in cold Norwegian fjords or um, warm turquoise water? Maybe swing uh, backwards. And then bring the knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Here, if you want to, you can notice how the pit of the belly, we want the pit of the belly to go in. So we don't want the belly to go out. Try to get the pit of the belly to go in, supporting the spine as we are working with the um, muscles in the, in the belly. And then maybe cross the midline, cross the midline. If you want to, you can bring one knee up and then the other. That's another possibility, maybe. Maybe straighten. Maybe do me knee, knee, knee connecting with the elbow. And then eventually release. Okay, linking bubbling stars all the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over, over. breathe, look up. And then release the arms out wide, 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 wide. Turn the palms up and then forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. And this time clasp the hands behind you, holding on to uh, opposite elbows or opposite forearms. And stay here. Stay here. Look for places of tightness. Maybe imagine your breath as healing water. Bring that healing water to a place of tightness. Rinse it, clean it, heal it. Release any stories. And then release one arm, bring it up, support your own heart from the back. Support your own heart from the back. And then release the other arm, 
and give extra support to your own heart. Give extra support to your own heart. How can you support yourself? How can you support yourself? One way, as he pointed out, is to sign up for or sign up for these classes. We work together. This is self care. And then release both arms down. Okay, now bring the feet wide, feet wide. And then uh, transfer the weight from sitting bone to sitting bone. Noticing that we have two parts of our body. One, one part of me can be strong and stable and the other one can be light and playful. So I have, and I can draw from all these parts of my uh, personality. And then maybe start creating circles. Going one way and then the other way. Maybe go from side to or from like diagonal. And the other diagonal. And then eventually bringing the feet together, big toes to touch, heels slightly apart, and then lifting one knee up, creating big circles, maybe one way and then the other way. And then stepping out wide, knee, uh, elbows to knees, fingertips together, lengthen the spine, pit of the belly goes in and up, breathe. Maybe listen to your breath. What does your sound, uh, what does your breath sound like today? If you want to, you can release the hands down, let the head, head be heavy. Then maybe walk your hands forward or to the side or behind you, exploring what do you need today? What do you need today? Every day is different and your needs are slightly different. And then inhale, come back up, uh, cross over, inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn away from that knee, look behind you. What did you learn um, yesterday? Or what have you learned about yourself recently? And then release and cross the legs and then bring up the uh, left knee. Big circles, big circles. One way and the other way. And then stepping out wide, elbows and knees, fingertips together, lengthen the spine. Maybe listen to the sound of your breath. And if you want to, you can release one hand down in front of your face. And then maybe imagine, so in yoga, we are warriors. We are warriors for peace. Imagine that this is the bow and then you bring up the string. You bring the string all the way up, all the way up. Maybe look up towards those fingers, still breathing. One hand is pushing into the floor and the other one is reaching up towards the sky. One part of you is grounded in reality and the other one is imagining all kinds of um, things. And then release and then place the other hand on earth, pull that string up. It's gonna be some resistance to bring it up, 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 up. And eventually reach for the stars 
and yet stay stay grounded. Pushing hard into the into the floor and reaching up towards the sky. And then release down, let the head be heavy. Listen to your breath. Inhale, come back up and then cross over. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn away from that uh, knee. Look behind you. And then release back to neutral. Okay, let's work th those legs a little bit. So bringing the knees and the heels a little bit closer, come up to standing and then go up and down. Maybe pick a number, now, let's pick uh, 10. So I'm just barely touching the chair. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. And then try something else. Maybe lift one leg and then the other. Maybe you want to jump. Or maybe you rather uh, rest for a while. That's okay too. And then come all the way up to standing and then stay there. Okay, blinking, bubbling stars all the way up. Clasp the hands, turn them over. Uh, straighten those elbows. And then let, uh, let your body go from side to side. And notice how nice it is to uh, allow the lungs to stretch out. Makes it easier to breathe. And then maybe reach, reach and pick reach and pick. We can choose, we can choose what we wanna do. We have choices. And then notice, what does your choices bring you? Do they bring you uh, pain, pleasure, or peace? It's probably a mix. And you can choose from uh, in front of you or at the side, the other side. You can choose things from behind you or down low or up high. And then let the arms go. Let the arms go. Maybe bend the knees. Maybe uh, dance around, move around. And then let the knee and the elbow connect. Knee and elbow connect. I see some people moving, that's fun, nicely done. Maybe uh, cross the midline. And you can move around here too. You don't have to stay in one spot. We have Zoom, we can, we can move around. All right, hands on your hips and wake up those hamstrings. Sometimes all we need is like a kick in the butt. It's like, oh, today was a very, very gray day here and it was raining, but I know I need to get outside. So I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go outside and take a walk in the rain. And I didn't have great gear, but uh, it was good enough. And I needed that fresh air. Okay, and then to the sides. Notice the outer hips, how the outer hips are, are, are working. And then if you want to, you can balance and lift that leg up. And notice how the muscles here, the outer hips, that external support, 
what kind of external support do you have? And then try the other side. Or maybe there are places of external support that you have not used for a while. So what sources of external support could you try to use? If you want to take a walk, maybe there's a person who you haven't reached out for, to for a while and maybe ask that person if, that, if you want to take a walk together. Could be that simple. Sometimes the simplest things are the hardest to ask for. Okay, now all five fingers, imagine uh, dipping the fingers in five different colors and then create a beautiful picture. Five, four, or maybe actually we're gonna do another picture. Like draw a beautiful picture with all those five colors. Okay, and then the other hand, five colors, all kinds of colors. Drawing this beautiful picture. You might not even really know what it is yet. Just like lots of colors. And then uh, release. Okay, now, blinking bubbling stars. And then we all have things that we like, that's not very helpful. So take one of those things and then push it away, push it away, push it away push it away and it's not going to be it's not going to it's not going to like it so it's going to push back it's going to want to come back into your life and it's going to be hard to resist and they're going to push it away push it away push it away breathe maybe we need to add some kicking to really like make ourselves heard i don't need this anymore maybe it's a habit that i do not need anymore. And eventually I can release the hands and nothing happens. There is space around me. And we can breathe again. Let's invite the sound with three sound salutations. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. That was one. Inhale arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. And then stay here, holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. And release. Okay, let's do step backs. Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Inhale to chair posture, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Turn to the way to the left, right heel comes off the floor. Take a big step back. Find the earth behind you with first the toes and then the heel. And we're gonna build warrior one. So the hips and the, everything is pointing uh, forward. Okay, warrior one is checking things out, just receiving information. There's no judgment, just receiving information. Add some blinking, bubbling stars all the way up, clap the hands, turn them over, breathe. What do you see? What do you see? Release the arms out. And then place your hands in your back pocket. What is your heart telling you? What is your heart telling you? 
And then release the hands forward to the chair, pick up that back foot. Lift the opposite hand off the chair. And then reach out and knee and elbow together. Reach out together. Reach out together. And maybe you want to try for the band, for the bind. And then release back, bend the knees, and come back up to standing. Okay, other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off. Take a big step back, find the earth behind you with the toes and um, the heel. Checking things out, just observing without judgment. Add some blinking, bubbling stars. Clap the hands, turn them over. What do you see? What do you see? Release the hands out wide, place them in your back pockets. Listen to your heart. What is your heart's deepest desire? Release the hands of the chair, pick that back foot up. Lift the opposite hand off the chair. Then reach and connect. Reach and connect. Maybe take the bite. And then release the feet together, bend the knees, come back up to standing. All right, inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the left, right heel comes off. Take a big step back. This time, open up the pelvic halves, finding warrior two. Finding warrior two. And maybe this time you're gonna let that knee go a little deeper. One arm in the past, one in the future, and you are right here, right here. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. Breathe into that left side of the body. And then bring that with you um, to the future, elbow to knee, elbow to knee creating a long line from the back foot to the top fingertips, long line of energy. Inhale, come back up to warrior two again. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee, release the hand down for trikonasana, maybe allowing one arm to go up. Rebend the front knee, finding your way back to um, warrior two. Now, hold on to the chair, lift the back foot up, connect to earth and the sky. Earth and sky, earth and sky. And then stay up there. Maybe bring the same hand up for or Dashandrasana. If you don't have a chair, you can do it this way. Maybe take the bind. And then finding your way back to uh, Tadasana. Okay, let's try the other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer weight to the right, left heel comes off. Take a big step back, open up the pelvic halves, finding warrior two.
Fingertips are reaching away from each other. Neck is long. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. Breathe into that right side of the body. And then come forward. Elbows connecting to knee. The hand is reaching up and forward. Notice that long line of energy from the back foot to the top uh, finger. So one part of you is connected to the earth and the other one is going for the stars. And then finding your way back to warrior two again. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee. Let the hands slide down, finding Trikonasana. Trikonasana. Rebending uh, that knee back to warrior two. And then let the hands find the chair or the floor if you rather work with the floor, and then bring that uh, back foot up, connect to earth, sky, earth, sky, earth, sky. And then maybe let that arm go off or place the hand on the floor and let that hand go off. If you want to, you can take the bite. And then release the feet back together, bend the knees and come back up to standing. Okay, balancing posture. Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Mountain, we're starting mountain. Let's feel how steady and strong you are. And then transfer the weight to the left, the right heel comes off. And then let that one part of you be light and playful. You can start with finding a traditional tree posture. That might be a good place to start. And then you can do something else. Ooh. And if I fall, then I just start over. I start over and I try again. Noticing how one part of my body is trying to keep me connected to earth and the other one is like exploring. Make it a little bit hard for that uh, grounded leg to handle it. Ooh. And then eventually finding my way back uh, to mountain. Notice how nice it feels to have two feet grounded uh, in the earth. And then you're ready to explore again. Transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off. And let that other part of your body be light and playful. Light and playful. And there are so many different balancing postures that you can try or just come up with your own. A posture that's unique to you. And then eventually finding your way back to Tadasana. Okay. Now place the hands on the chair, um, feet a little wider than your hips, open up the toes, release the knees down, and let the toes open up. Now take those five fingers again. Maybe, yeah, and pick all five different colors. And then start painting. Start painting something here on your side. Let's paint something that's we don't really know what it is, just painting a beautiful picture. 
Okay. And now a big circle, maybe touching the heel. Fingertips are connecting to heel. And then release. And then try the other hand. So maybe you pick one color or five colors. I don't know. You pick something and then draw a beautiful picture on the other side. What does the paint feel like? Is it crayons or is it paint? And then draw a big circle, big circle. Let the fingertips connect to the heel. And then release. And this time, look at both your thumbs, both thumbs. And then draw a big circle, big circle. Then place your hands in your back pockets, hands in back pockets. Let the elbows move together. Shoulder or collarbones are opening up. Listen to your heart. And then release. Untuck the toes, big toes to touch, and uh, knees a little bit wider, and then finding child's posture. And then inhale and come back up. Create that, clasp the hands and create that stable triangle. Tuck the toes, engage the core, lift the knees off. And then walk your feet a little bit closer. Dolphin posture. And then bend the knees and come all the way back up to standing. Okay, perfect. Now let's uh, prepare for the seated meditation. So I'm going to read um, from Thich Nhat Hanh again the same passage, and then we'll do the seated meditation together. Okay, walking with your parents. When you walk, for whom do you walk? You can walk to get somewhere, but you can also walk as a kind of meditative offering. It's very nice to walk for your parents or for your grandparents who may not have known the practice of walking in mindfulness. Your ancestors may have spent their whole life without the chance to make peaceful, happy steps and establish themselves fully in the present moment. This is a great pity, but we do not need to repeat this situation. All our ancestors and all future generations are present in us. Liberation is not an individual matter. As long as the ancestors in us are still suffering, we cannot be happy. And we will transmit that suffering to our children and their children. Now is the time to liberate our ancestors and future generations, to free ourselves. If we can take one step freely and happily, touching the earth mindfully, we can take 100. We do it for ourselves and for all previous and future generations. We all arrive at the same time and find peace and happiness together. Okay, so we have about 10 minutes. Um, so finding your seat, sitting up tall, uh, maybe lift the heels and the toes, 
neck is long, maybe place the hands on your, on your knees. Touch the crown of the head, reaching up towards the sky, maybe allow it to open up to receive guidance. And then if you want to bring your awareness to your breathing, noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. And then I'm gonna be quiet now for about nine minutes, nine minutes.
Uh, and now bring your awareness to your hands. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Gently move your head from side to side. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. If you want to, you can place your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. Maybe bow your head in gratitude for this practice, thousands of years old. Thank your inner guide, your past, present and future teachers, and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Open your eyes, look at the floor, raise your gaze. And thank you so much for practicing together with me this morning. Namaste. Mm -hmm.